what is one takeaway that you want our participants to take from this uh, from this uh, conversation? I, I I would say just just give it a try, play around with it, and you. You mean with it? You mean AI? You're... LLMs. Yeah, just play, it, try around, try a lot more stuff out there. Try with something small, with a smaller data set, uh, mm -hmm. and you you'd realize how um, how tricky it can be with a lot of bigger data. It can how to write a better prompt. What is a good context? What is not a good context? And you realize a lot of things yourself. It's just about just trying out a lot of stuff, I would say. Try and yeah, so do don't that. be afraid. Yeah. Try AI is it's there is a it's a really good tool for for research today, and it's it's only gonna get better. Um, so we are very bullish. I think yeah. yeah, as an as an AI assistant, it's never That's gonna replace you as researchers, but it'll definitely yeah. make your joy, make bring more joy uh, to your work. Uh, what's your take? Do you think like junior level AI, a junior level research positions are going to be replaced by AI? No, think of it as the gap between the junior and the senior researcher is going to thin down now because uh, you'd be you'd be spending a lot more time mm -hmm. on doing creative things. Mm -hmm. You know, you're gonna you're not you're not gonna you cannot outsource all of your research work to an AI, but you can outsource some of those uh, heavy heavy cognitive load tasks to mm -hmm. AI. Right, mm. there are th things which which junior researchers would do any at any any company, mm -hmm. uh, but now junior researchers can spend a lot more time in doing other stuff. Not just that, mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of increasing their expertise in other words, in increasing their expertise. So I think that now's the time where you know the capabilities of what AI can do and what it cannot do, and especially mm -hmm. now is the time for any researchers to be updated with what the capabilities of AI are. Uh, and to know AI a lot better and how it can save you a lot of time and make you a lot more efficient, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So yeah, the gap between the junior and researcher is going to get thinned down. Uh, mm -hmm. And, you know, unless you use uh, AI in your day-to-day -day activ uh, day -day activities, you you might uh, get left behind. Yeah, left. Is, as a researcher, you have to know what your project goals are very clearly, especially mm -hmm. if you're planning to use AI. You know, mm -hmm. you've got to know your hypothesis a lot better. What are you trying to prove? What are you trying to not prove? Uh, mm -hmm. What are the business goals here? And mm -hmm. in and out of the context, because mm -hmm. if you're not able to give complete context to the AI, it's, 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 you're not going to get as mm -hmm. good, um, mm -hmm. you know, solutions as you would otherwise. So starting off of, when you're starting off your project, it can certainly help you uh, making, uh, you know, finding a methodology for you, first of all, if you're not uh -huh. really sure how to go about doing a certain certain research. Uh, mm -hmm. Think of it as, again, if you're, especially if you're a junior junior person uh, doing research, talk of it as, hey, would this be the best way to go about doing this research? Yes or no, mm -hmm. if this is my particular goal. Now you, mm -hmm. that you have a particular plan, uh, you can if so you can basically so, validate your methodology. So you say, "Hey, I'm thinking of this is my hypothesis. This is my goal." You can yeah. go and ask, like, kind of like bounce ideas off of ChatGPT and say, "What methodologies do you think we can we can use?" And it yeah. will give you a, a a good response. It seems in your in your experience. How do you validate? How do you personally, Chirag, validate a response of an AI? to see whether that's a correct response or not? That is that is a great question. Uh, and there are, yeah, that is that is a difficult one because, mm -hmm. and you have to go by uh, certain rules again. If mm -hmm. you are taking, that's, that's what exactly what I meant when I said you have to know the limitations of AI because a lot of, mm -hmm. The solution, a lot of the outcomes might seem super real, and it might mm -hmm. push, might even entice you to take them super seriously at, at, in mm -hmm. certain ways. But you have to know where AI is successful and where it's not. For mm -hmm. example, in thematic analysis. Now, mm -hmm. even though it does like a great work at thematic analysis, um, it, it is a bit different from how a human would do a thematic mm -hmm. analysis. Yeah, I have seen. You know, if you ask, uh, if you tell Chat uh, mm -hmm. GPT. I know about the other ones. Mm -hmm. uh, if you tell them, "Hey, I only have thirty minutes," it would change your uh, your, ah. your discussion guide, so you can you only ask a fewer questions. Oh, so and you can say, say hey, for example, like a, for yeah. a survey, you can say, "Oh, make this." Hey, I have these like 
20 questions, but this is taking like too long to answer. Like, can you turn this into like, so that people can answer in like 30 minutes or 15 minutes? Exactly. Exactly. Got it. Got so, it. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it only oh, depends on, you mm -hmm. know, if you tell AI exactly what you're looking for. So you need to be very clear on the hypothesis and the, uh, and the outcome that you're looking towards and the, exactly. the, the, at least the, 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 the plan that you, that you want to follow or the outcome yeah. that you're, that you have in mind. Okay. Um, so that's great. So it seems like, I, I mean, you didn't say it explicitly, but you said questionnaires for survey based on like various different parameters asking them if they are biased or unbiased and getting like the charity event that gives a good opinion. Um, yeah. Now let's talk a little bit about, and then I think you mentioned like question questions, even for more like moderated questions moderated, and, and like yeah. oh, and, and research mm -hmm. question and uh, kind of like almost like a research plan for, uh, for exploratory study. That's also uh, chat GPT can help. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ch uh, chat GPT, especially it knows like uh, a proper good, good flow for a, for a one-on-one -on -one interview also. Not just that, mm -hmm. if you want to, uh, uh, you know, have synthetic users in, in, in your study, or if you just want to do a practice round mm -hmm. uh, for with a, with a, or with a synthetic user it can mm -hmm. you it can help you with that now be mm -hmm. assured that you're not going to get the best results from it you have to take it with a pinch of salt but there's something if you want to give it a practice and you want to uh you know want to get certain information there it, it, mm -hmm. can, it is it is really oh so you can that. say as an ai can you fill out this questionnaire or this yeah. survey or as an ai or or can you pretend that you are a participant with this demographic and then you yeah. can actually practice answering those questions to see if the responses are along the lines of what you get or the interpretation yeah. oh wow okay i've so done that. practicing yeah, yeah, okay yeah, yeah, wow cool. okay that that's that's really useful so not only are we kind of uh helping ai is helping us generate these questions but it's also could help us generate um, kind of a potential, here are the potential responses. And we're going to talk a little bit about synthetic users in a, in a minute, but it essentially can simulate a, a couple of responses for you to see like, hey, is this going in the direction where I wanted the interview to go? Right. Yeah. Uh, again, you have to be really careful. I would. You have to be really careful when you're doing when you when you're okay. playing with AI. Though, mm -hmm. uh, I would just suggest not to um, take the take the results as mm -hmm. the final as the final solution though as the as mm -hmm. a final report though uh, mm -hmm. you know it can help you do all of that but you still i still would really recommend you doing your own finding your own real users and finding mm, of course your while you're conducting research what are the uh you know processes or what are the methodologies or what are the steps that earlier were fairly manual and time consuming that you see being automated today uh, using AI. Yeah, I think you, you started to, uh, to call with, with transcripts and that is saving a lot of, lot of time. Mm -hmm. The other thing, mm -hmm. which is, uh, which is super helpful if you're doing like a humongous study and especially the, if you're a researcher who depend on a lot of secondary research and you have a lot of research papers to study, mm. a lot of previous, uh, you know, you're taking up at a new project and you have to learn a lot of stuff mm -hmm. before you coming, before you come up with a project goal, for example, even, uh, and I was, I'm start, certainly one of them where I love to read certain research papers before I make my mind uh, mm. just to learn stuff. Uh, and some of these research papers are super tricky to read. Uh, they, they're super time consuming. Very and, technical sometimes. Know, very technical sometimes. And and AI is super helpful with, with these tasks. Mm -hmm. You put in your, uh, and this is available from right off the box. There are so many mm -hmm. vendors out there who, who, who are capable of we'll summarize of this. Yeah. Like documents Not just summarize, you. you ask questions on, mm -hmm. on, mm -hmm. on your research papers. Now, uh, you have to understand, again, taking with a pinch of salt, as you grow your repository, as you have too many things, it might be a little tricky to uh, find the right prompt here. How do I ask mm -hmm. a question? When you when you have one research paper, everything's good. But when we have, say, 15, 20, 
50 100. research papers, yeah, some, yeah, things can get super, super confusing and it tends into a, deep, a deeper level of, of AI, where right. getting those stuff can be a little tricky, but it's mm-hmm. it's still possible. Uh, yeah. But but if you have like a smaller data set, it works a lot better than. Mm-hmm. Got it. 